Yo, what's up, guys? So we're watching this movie for the first time, but we have met this character before. Check it out. Thanks, Hot Mics. <laughs> right this way, sir. Just slipping people 20s. <laughs> no, he didn't. This is for you. What is happening? Did I fall asleep on this couch? <laughs> <laughs> that alien thing really took a hold of him. <laughs> Do you see her hair? Do you see her hair? I don't know what that was about, but let's just watch this movie. <laughs> Those clouds are kind of crazy. I never thought about it. Me either. Tencent Pictures. Never heard of that. That's a cute penguin. I'm excited. I like when I see something new right there. Yeah. Because I'm like, maybe this will be different. Let's go. Is that a spaceship? You see it? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Specimens are secured and we're heading home. Initiating re-entry sequence. Oh man, it came in at the wrong angle, everybody. Oh no, is it headed towards Earth? Well, I don't know if it's Earth, but it's heading towards something. Malaysia, yep. Y'all always picking Earth. At least they, they landed in a spot with some good street food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep, there it goes, in a jar. There was some kind of breach. One of the astronauts sent a distress call. One of the organisms got out of containment and it's uh -oh. missing. So there's four? So it was a mission to go get those things. One of the astronauts is still alive. That's Jameson. Oh. Damn, not Jameson. Not Jameson, right? So it's up in that guy. Oh, it went oh. to her. Oh, it's regenerative. Mm. So I wonder why they portrayed it in Spider-Man as it makes you edgy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they didn't really know, like, there was nowhere to go but up, I guess. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, all right. A little San Fran. Morning, sunshine. Have a wait. I can have it back. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Let me know how your meeting goes. My meeting? He's a Chargers fan. Coffee. You are perfect. I love you. Love you too. Beat the cat. He's kind of familiar. Let me know. Let me know, chat. <laughs> what, are you, what are you playing, chat? That we've seen. Yeah, he's in something. Eddie Brock with boots on the ground today in the mission district. Eddie Brock was the name of the one in Spider Man 2, though. Downtown Oakland, where massive demonstrations have taken over the street. Oh, he's a reporter. Okay. But he has like his own show, it looks like. The Eddie Brock report. Let's go. I'm Eddie Brock. And this is the Brock Report. It's got a scholarship, bro. What did I tell you? No such thing as camp. The bike. MIT. You know what I Manipulation. <laughs> I got you the big one exclusive. Yahoo. Carlton Drake. He's seriously off. Carlton Drake could buy us with his pocket cash. You're just going to ask him about his space program. You're going to thank him. And you're going to bid him a nice day. He said, I will not. He's a crook. <laughs> Eddie, when you had nowhere to go, we gave you a home. You know we love the Brock show. But no one is above the network. All right, I'll do it. He's oh, not going to. Are you going to behave yourself tomorrow? No. The guy you work for is a complete... I don't work for Drake. I work for my farm, and my farm works for him. But yeah. You are my home. And that's about yourself, champ. <laughs> that music, though. <laughs> Jeez. Did you check what year this came out? Mm, I think 2018. Sounds about right. Or 2017. 2016. So Patriots were beating the Rams about that time. Something like that. Oh no. He's about to go there tomorrow and he's finding out the inside scoop. What you mean? He's about to go interview that guy and there was oh, just yeah, a yeah. message about him. Well, not him, but his company. And that's how one day we might all live in space. Mr. Drake. It's okay. Don't silence her. They try and silence those of us who ask questions, but you know what? In the end, 
We're the ones who changed the world. What was our question? <laughs> he silenced her. At 19, you discovered a gene therapy that literally doubles the life expectancy of pancreatic well, cancer. Well, actually, I have always believed uh -huh. that space exploration is, is crucial in our quest to cure everything that ails us here on Earth. That guy's way too dull to be in his position, though. Like, no one running all that junk is going to have such a dull personality like that. Maybe. Maybe he's about the science. So I have to ask, how does that work? You know, the, exactly the Life Foundation. I don't know, how does it go about, say, testing pharmaceuticals? Eddie, we're talking about the rocket here. No, I'm not. I'm no. sorry, I don't. Since your entire empire is going to be built on dead bodies. Eddie. This is like Sarah Chambers. Bill is he not supposed to know about that or something? That's wild. Yeah, I guess he saw it in the documents. Mm -hmm. We're not finished. Yes, you are, Mr. Brock. Is that a threat? Have a nice life. Man, I saw that email. This dude's about to be this pissed. Mm -hmm. is all the way bad. You're fired, Eddie. Have a nice life. Well, he's nicer than Jameson. Well, that guy's just not gonna just turn a blonde out of everything, and the other guy called him stupid for it. Your ego requires constant attention, and you're stubborn as hell. But I was willing to roll with it, Eddie, because I loved you. You loved me? What is that supposed to mean? What you did got me fired. You used me. Eddie? She about put it on his toes. That box. Mm hmm well what did you think dude right i mean ultimately he just got fired but he did that guy a lot of damage now he's on tv doing this oh my god zombs right what's that a cordyceps i know right look there's the street food <laughs> he said i'm looking for some masala <laughs> in malaysia <laughs> they might yeah that's what i'm saying she's looking for it <gasps> She's gonna pick a live eel up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is strange behavior. Why are they walking up? Run. Whoa. She's gonna hop bodies because hers is broken, probably. No, maybe not to that one. They did hop to that one. Six months later. That looks like Tony Stark's. Can't help but think that. These creatures need to bond with a respiratory host in order to survive for any amount of time <sighs> in an oxygen. The bonding process is starting. Bro, all that went inside that bunny. Why, why, if we do achieve symbiosis, they should be able to survive here, but also we would be able to survive there. Oh, I see. Oh, he's trying to trials. do other oh, planets. Right, right yeah. Think of future generations. Question. Think of your kids. Hey, how are your kids? Let's begin human trials. Good work. So he's a blackmailer. That's what that's what right. I'm getting. A weasel. <laughs> what a fucking weasel he is, yeah. Do you ever feel like your life is like one monumental scroll? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> learned so much do you think we're gonna like switch him off some people are trying to watch that oh you are are you <laughs> no the life foundation has now begun preparations on its next launch they just found that out too hey maria eddie cost you five dollars oh mm -hmm. man Thanks for a favor is free five bucks that's pretty steep i tell you what i will give you 20 bucks not to say all right <laughs> deal thank you oh excuse me you're the wife's shit and you look as beautiful as ever. <laughs> Jesus. Mine is body, Eddie. You've been meditating like I showed no, you? No, I have not, and it does not work. It doesn't work because you don't give it a chance. No, it doesn't work because I bought a DVD of your cousin, and it was in Mandarin. Me, <laughs> See that, right? Uh-oh. Bottle of whiskey. And don't forget my change. Please. Let's go. Before the oh, no. For my protection. Oh, he's like operating the store, protecting it, no. aka. Wait. You know how that game goes, right? Okay, yeah. I'll protect the store for myself. Hey, I just they, bought I those. I know, I was about to say, there's Yo, those things. things were good. I just bought some the other day. They sell those all the way over there, huh? That's wild. You got Pepto in a sandwich? That dude's from X-Men, right? What is he? <laughs> Wolverine's brother. Oh, Sabretooth? Yeah, Sabretooth. Yeah, Sabretooth reference. <laughs> we know it's not, guys. Any name. Think you pick a name. I could be a woman. You seen Tootsie? 
Man, so he's desperate, huh? He went from journalist to dishwasher. Mm -hmm. Can't even land that. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was just like his thoughts. <laughs> oh, he's so mad. That guy's really in there shredding it up like that. <laughs> right. You gotta be happy for him. That's good. Thank you. Our neighbor used to do that with the I know drums. we were happy for him. Yeah. This is first contact. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. And they're bringing a human in there. Uh uh. Did they sign up for it? I mean, I can't stand some human trials either, guys, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> you know, or nothing ever going to get done. But there's volunteers for that, right? There's no need to be frightened, Isaac. Do you know that's a biblical name? Yeah, yes, sir. It isn't Abraham's sacrifice, it's Isaac's. I would argue that God has abandoned us. He didn't okay, Thanos. The bargain, Isaac. So now you and me to put this right. Isaac, we can. Mm -hmm. He just wouldn't like, you know what I'm saying? He's just not doing it for me. I'd be like, nah, bro. Open it. I think he's the most believable science of any scientist looking guy of any of anyone yeah 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 because yeah. the other ones have like military training and crap like that but he does come across as extremely shady though mm -hmm. but he's a he's a master manipulator so far yeah and that guy didn't sign up for that he didn't know what he was doing well, you better fight oh my god it has to go in his mouth <gasps> good thing it doesn't Oh no. But it didn't work. Rejected him, huh? Maybe he didn't have the right blood type. Bring in the next volunteer. <gasps> Maybe they don't know what they're volunteering for. Right, but if you're sitting there like in that circle, you gotta say something because they're gonna put you in prison when they figure out what y'all are doing. Even if you're not the main guy. Well, he tried to expose him and look at him, he's fired. Right. The machine's powerful. We know about it, YouTube. <laughs> Where'd she go? You know, I, I used to be a, a reporter. I was I was pretty successful as well. You know, my job, it required you to follow people that did not want to be followed. You have to know how to disappear. Whoever you are, you suck. <laughs> okay, I need your help. I work at the Life Foundation. You do? Yes. Wow, good for you. We're done. <laughs> he really doesn't like you. <laughs> He's scared now. For everything that you accused him of, you were right. It's all true. I don't care anymore. Really? Because he's got a lab filled with poor people and, and he's using them like guinea pigs. And they oh, yeah, I see. That's where the girl is. is. Yeah. I just put that together. Oh, no. Yeah, they got her. Go to the cops. I can't do that. I'm afraid of what will happen to my family. I lost my career. I lost my relationship. I lost my apartment. I lost everything I ever cared about. You need to find yourself another white knight in skirts because I am done. I am done with all of this shit. Well, man, you should have just, you know what I'm saying? You already took a stance. Right. You have nothing to lose. Just yeah, go now for you don't it. have anything to lose. You got to go fight. Stand behind your stance. Oh. Mm, look at that. And I was, I was just walking by and, uh, I... uh oh. This is Dan. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm a big fan of your work. Thank you. Really? It's pretty cool, <laughs> all the people that he took down. Yeah, I was one of them. Oh. Well, look, oh. you catch up, so I'll see you inside. My man took a took a good stance, and, and my girl left him. He better off anyways. But he did it with her legal work that she wasn't supposed to like have like show anybody. He knew better than that. that was yeah, 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 that was that was messed up. What you up to? You realize that's light years away from being any of your business, right? How's Mr. Belvedere, anyway? Well, I would say that he misses you, but that would be bullshit because he's a cat. No, because he never liked you. Oh, he's a cat. The cats don't like him. <laughs> you look good, by the way. You, you doing good? What are you doing here, Eddie? I'm here because I miss you a lot. Oh, he's at her house. No, we can't really believe that we're not. You did this, Eddie. Kind of true, man. I don't know. That's tough, though. You come across something like that. It's right. just hard to just but you gotta turn be your dead. back to it. You got to be smarter about the approach. You yeah, can't just true. do that because you're going to sell her out, too. I agree. Man, if I live in San Francisco, I'd have some good cast, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, he's Constantly walking all up there. <laughs> oh, he's just staring at that business. He said he's just going to stare at the beast. A helicopter's flying right into it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, City Rock here. Talk to me. What? 
Drake sent a ship on a recon mission. On the way back, they found a comet. Onboard computers indicated the presence of life. Millions of organisms. Millions in a comet? We brought back some specimens. You're talking about aliens? Yes. And they don't look like E.T. bro. Mm -mm. Symbiotes. Symbiotes? And they cannot survive in our environment without help. Drake is trying to put human beings and aliens together just so they can live in space. We call them hosts. That's nuts. Oh, and it turns out there's millions of them. So they could send millions of humans yeah, to like so seed out the cosmos. Yeah. He's trying to like make some like breakthrough. <laughs> I trust machine over sure. symbiotic so relationship ahead. though. Oh, yeah. You know what they say. Science never sleeps. Oh no. Man, you need to make some videos. Oh my gosh. It's been in him for four days. He's gonna see that girl. Oh, and then he's gonna have to get involved. Maria? Maria? No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> I don't know how. No. He's not a very smart cookie. I wouldn't be touching much. Oh no. Is she dead? Maria, Maria. Oh man, that's jacked up. So they're going around just kidnapping poor people on the streets. That's terrible. Cause they're testing it. They're testing to see if like they can survive or like, not. Guys, don't get me wrong. Like we need people to do like human trials. You know, there's a lot of brave people who are like sick and they do that. And we're very lucky for that. But that is jacked up, bro. Jeez. Dang, it's making him so strong. Oh my God. So in the comics, I guess Eddie Brock is the host of Venom, always. Dude, he thought he was about to just like climb the fence and he jumped through it. <laughs> he didn't even realize. I wouldn't chase after somebody who just did that. Jump through a metal fence. <laughs> Crazy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Why are y'all driving like that? He didn't have a helmet. <laughs> like, jeez. That was probably like a professional doom buggy racer that they brought in. Yeah. Oh no, not. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought y'all were gonna crash. <laughs> that would be cool to be a cop riding them things, patrolling that. Crazy. Amongst the pine cones. He said, I'm gonna be a squirrel. They won't even notice I'm here. It's me, it just got back. Are you, are you all right? This might be kind of cringe, but that's not the brother from the OC, is it? From back in the day? You remember that show? I no, you no, I don't. You, you You're the that. only one who watched it out of us. I told you that. It came on TV. I had like five channels. I was too busy watching Lizzie McGuire. Oh no. Not the frozen tot. Oh, oh man. Not the garbage chicken. They might be onto something because it's surviving off human food. He might go eat his ex wife's cat. God dang, bro. Bro, this tool is tough regardless. I know, though. I'm gonna throw up just looking at the oh, toilet. Boy. I don't know why they always gotta portray bachelors as just peeing all over the toilet seat possible. What? Mm. That's bad. How bad? We don't know what happened. Sir. But I did. Get it out of my sight, Carlton. See, Get it out of my no. sight. I knew it. See, his body just needed time to adjust. I wanna up the test, okay? Yeah. Up the tests? So someone Someone was a successful host. Jesus. Hopefully they live differently when they're in space. <laughs> He's got the pictures though. Are they looking for someone else? Seems like it. Man. So the idea is she's just too old. Can you tell that it's an emergency? Food. <laughs> Who said that? No, I'm talking to you. <laughs> Lobsters. Oh no. You think they're about to make a lobster risotto? <laughs> no. Lobster risotto. Oh, no, I broke into the Life Foundation. You did what? Yeah, I, got, but I, may, I think I may have been infected. Hey, Jesus! Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is dead. 
<laughs> he wants it alive. I just not the lobster cage, dude. Just don't go in there. No. I'd buy, bro. This dude is on drugs. Oh no, he's jumping in there. <gasps> I'm a doctor. This man is my um patient. Bro, aren't you the new boyfriend? I'm stuck in y'all. Mm -hmm. oh. oh no! <laughs> no no no! Imagine just eating there at lunch that day and witnessing this. <laughs> That's killing me though. The new boyfriend is so concerned. Maybe he wants to be part of that because right. he knows something's up. This is Dan speaking to you. Hey, Dan. We're gonna run some tests, so you know, just try to stay still. Is it because of vibrations? Hey, Remember, it doesn't like vibrations. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he was hitting the poles. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Take a deep breath. Okay? You're okay. Hey, Mrs. Manfredi, how are you? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. Oh no, he wants to eat it. Okay, miss, go home, get some rest. I'll call you when your tests are in. All right. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon, Doctor Scav. Who's this dude? The detective. The one that wants to touch her. Simeon thriving. Good. But once again, it, it's it's killing the host. Sounds in the four to six thousand hertz range are very harmful. We're gonna need another host. Oh no! Such poor design. Thought you'd like some good news. Oh, they might use her like as a punishment, because that dude's just not ethical at all. Right. Ugly. Oh god damn it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> at least it speaks English though. Right. It could be like be. Well, I'm sure whatever okay. once it attaches right. to you, it just speaks your native language or whatever you speak. You have a parasite. Also, I'm, I'm hearing a, uh, I'm hearing a voice. Hey, Dan, with this parasite, would, would like be able to make me, I don't know, like climb a really, really, really tall tree. <laughs> <laughs> super fast. Yes, uh, we just did. We are gonna get you on some meds, and we are gonna clear that out. Yes. Never gonna happen. I'm not actually talking to you, Annie. Who are you talking to? <laughs> I'm just gonna call you back. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this movie yeah. so far. I don't know why. I'm just really into it. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna like? Oh, it's not gonna like that music. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> That's why I'm liking it. It's setting itself up a lot. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna go whoop him. Yeah. Hey, can you turn your music down, please? Because I'm having a really hard time. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Gotta move. Absolutely. Gotta switch to the acoustic. Troubled by what we've been doing. I get it. Mm mm. It's the nature of what we do. Look at that setup. I need that from you. <laughs> that little work session. Mm hmm. We begin with your friend. They're gonna die unless we bring them back here, where you can help to keep them alive. Mm -hmm. I promise. From here on in, we will do things differently. Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock. Mm -hmm. You were our best. Open it. <gasps> You're right. No, no, oh, no. please work. And she sold him out too, man. That's the worst part. Cause she believed the guy manipulated her. Oh. Yeah, but she should know better though. He said, huh? <laughs> Stay put. Hey, Eddie. Who the hell is this guy? I'm gonna need Mr. Drake's property back. What are you doing? I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm putting my hands up. You are making us look bad. <laughs> I, no. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Why would you do that? It's <laughs> a very sensible thing to do. Eddie, <laughs> I will take care of this myself. Eddie. <laughs> Jeez, bro. I'm so sorry about your friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is all Eddie right here. Uh oh. Oh, oh. man. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because it's like fighting for him. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's bite all the heads off and follow up in the corner. Why would we do this? Smile <laughs> bodies. <laughs> oh, no, it knocked on his door. <laughs> oh. Shit, man. <laughs> 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 what the hell? Dude, how did you do that? How do I have a parasite? They're not gonna they they're not gonna believe that. <laughs> that was like the NASA control room. Oh. Are you seeing this? He's achieved symbiosis. That guy's gonna love him. <laughs> Please bring me back my creature. 
What? You're not even here, are you? I'm just seeing things, just not real. You're in my head. You're just a parasite. Parasite? <laughs> you have a brain tumor, Eddie. What? He thinks he's hallucinating that he has a brain tumor. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> you see all the references, the X and the yeah. light, the drone that they tried to kill one. What if that's Scott's bike? It could be. <laughs> Those are probably some Stark drones. The drones are scary, dude. The idea of a drone. Oh no, it's gonna like floor it, I bet. I hope he jumps a ramp. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> How's that guy not going to jail for all those drone strikes? Right. Like, what the heck? I can see them trying to use this as like a super soldier thing though, don't you? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I see how this is. Maybe that's how it's going to come into the play. I don't know. Yeah, like they got sitting there talking about space exploration and stuff. The military is sitting there like... I know, William Stryker's over there like... <laughs> Man, so that thing can really just do anything it wants. You can probably turn into a parachute if you jump off a building. That's pretty cool. But that sucks to be him because he's just chilling. <laughs> he's basically getting kidnapped right yeah. now. There's your job. <laughs> oh, it left the thing. <laughs> he's gonna be like, Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Why? They're really trying to showcase the, the abilities right now. <laughs> so we're not surprised later when he like pulls them all out of the fight. That's what I kind of like about this movie so far. It's just like how easy it is to predict. Like, it's because like they're, they're setting it up to show yeah, them. Yeah. But yeah, I like it kind of because they're it's doing exactly what they're implying. Oh, he's having fun now. Y'all can drive too though. Too bad there's no rail railroads in this city. <laughs> right. Yeah, he can get in front of the train. Every movie we've been watching lately has been dodging that, dodging things by that. I am going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> nice. Wow, that was pretty cool, actually. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't it help him? <laughs> He's just so ha proud of himself. <laughs> You have been a serious pain in the ass for me. I ain't please. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh man. Oh no. Eyes, lungs, pancreas. So many snacks, so little time. Ew! You're dumb. <laughs> he just bit his head off. Oh my god. This guy's tough. <laughs> and he can swim. So, I would be so scared. Imagine that just jumps in the water. Dang. My legs. Is that a SpongeBob reference? I hope Venom gives him some answers, though. <laughs> I am Venom, and you are mine. You bit somebody's head off. Fuel in the tank. <laughs> Listen carefully, Eddie. You did not find us. We found you. We need Carlton Drake's rocket. You are a loser, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna have an edgy come up. You gonna, you gonna eat anybody else? Most likely. Mm -hmm. Oh no. God. That is why we are here. Cooperate and you might just survive. That is the deal. That would be so scary. So it needs him to survive here. Venom needs Eddie. Well, I think the reason he let him crash was because he's like, yo, if I leave you, you're dead. Your legs are broken, your skull's cracked. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now that they need each other. Uh-oh. Where's Eddie? What, what's happening? I got Eddie's labs back. It's worse than I thought. His system's renal, endocrine. They're behaving abnormally. I've never seen anything like well, it. We need to get him here. She don't even have a case on her phone. You know this is a movie. Where were you when it left Dr. Skirt's body? No. Where was he? You stood by and watched while he died. The arrogance. They have to keep putting bodies in there or it dies. Oh, okay. We can't risk killing Brock until we find another suitable host. 
I don't want to see you again unless you have Brock. Why is he yelling at everyone like he's trying to intimidate them, though? You know what I'm saying? He's not very intimidating. It's my friend's apartment. The building's been evacuated. It's not safe for you to be here, ma'am. When to make her feel safe? Who is Anne? Your pulse is quickened. That is none of your goddamn business. <laughs> so Venom already knows who yeah. she is. He's just trolling. Frank, where are you? I need to see you. No, no, no. You, you can't. You can't see me. I gotta get up there, man. Look, I got love for you, bro. But no can do. He needs to see what's Eddie, on it. Please. Let's eat his brains. No! You do not touch him. He is my friend. No. <laughs> Worst three jobs just to support his family. <laughs> we will leave. We. Yeah. What are you talking about? Just stay back. Trust him. Well, he can kind of control Venom a little bit, right? Well, they're a relationship now, so they have to work together. Venom can't be too much. What did you just say? Oh, we can't. Oh, we can <laughs> He's destroying that building <laughs> while it's going up there. Your world is not so ugly after all. I'm almost sorry to see it end. Oh, so they got bad intentions on. Oh, the airplane. Oh, where did you go? Where did you go? <laughs> 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 this movie's funny. I got us. No. <laughs> Bad venom. You die, I die. Yeah, well, you can always just shed my carcass and exchange it for another one whenever you need. Not Why so simple. That? You are far too good of a match to throw away so soon. Plus, I am starting to like you. Okay. He writes like a girl, though. <laughs> In all caps. Jump. <laughs> so they're just portraying him being edgy in a different way right toby mcguire was a completely different way on the ground now this guy's basically toby mcguire with less rhythm right Mask. Copy. he said copy whoa Guys, Venom was like a problem. They're coming at him with guns, but they just really need a big gong. Yeah, basically. Or a bell. <laughs> oh, that worked a little bit. It's like the Hulk and Loki. <laughs> Why do you have to roar? <laughs> no. Just play dead, bro. Oh, we do not eat policemen. Oh, anyway, oh, <laughs> I've been infected. What's happening? He's inside me. Yes. I know it sounds like some crazy. Why are you really sick? No, I, am... I need help. Hospital. I would not drive him. Get in the car, Eddie. Just let him run there. In the back. I like her. Get in. No MRI. No, no, no MRI. What? Why? Sound at four to six thousand hertz is lethal. Sound is like his kryptonite. Not all sounds. And fire. And Why are you admitting all your weaknesses? I'm, I'm hungry all the time. And you feel sad, do you not, Eddie? You never apologized. You might not live to get another chance. I'm truly sorry for whatever I, and everything I have ever done to you, and that I love you. Now's really not the time. Let's just keep you alive, okay? <laughs> oh. Uh oh. No. I was about to blow her up in that car. No, the guy wants wants um the guy. But yeah, but he knows that a drone ain't gonna. Well, he might know that. I don't know. Venom's basically in. Well, the fire might hurt him then from the drone strike. Mm -hmm. All the way from Malaysia. What are you doing here? I'm not here. Is it gonna kill him? Now we can get a proper boss fight. Eddie, I got your labs back and your heart has atrophied. Do not listen to him. I can fix it. I can heal you. Th this parasite. Whatever this parasite? Is, it's eating oh. from the inside. Am I Eddie? Am I dying? No. Oh, God. We have to get out of here. Oh, God, he's killing her. I'm killing you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> No! Don't do that! Ah! Turn it off! Oh, it hopped out of him! Let's go! What happened to we? Uh, why 
what happened. <laughs> so I guess he didn't get hurt in that bicycle or that motorcycle yeah. crash. It really did hit him. You want to tell me what the hell's going on? I wouldn't no. take my eyes off of me it. Me either. Oh, it just disappeared out of frame. Did you see that? Mm hmm. He's a very complicated man. But Dan, I promise. I'm talking about that. Where is it? Oh, no. Oh. It slapped the chihuahua like that. Oh, was it going to go find Eddie? Oh, no. Now he needs venom again. <laughs> oh, the dog. The dog saw it. You think he's trying to go back to Eddie? Mm -hmm. Did it jump in her? I don't know. I don't think so. I thought it implied it. Rip your tongue out of your face. All right, Joffrey. <laughs> he said, "Woo!" <laughs> Unfair now. Where is he? I don't know. You're insane. That hurts. Sorry. Long journal entry about that tonight. You're being dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is what I've initiated is a whole new world, a new species. I have spent a significant amount of time with one of these creatures up my ass. <laughs> Literally. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Where's Venom? That is the ugliest looking thing I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> What up his ass. <laughs> yeah, but he's on page with his. He's on the same page. Yeah, they became buds real quick. Your mm -hmm. friends. There are more of us. Millions more. They will follow wherever I lead. Where we lead. Yes, we. Oh. We must retrieve him. I bet it's manipulating him. Absolutely. You know what are you gonna do? You're gonna walk me to death? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Did your mama not love you? <laughs> right. Good trick, though. That was so realistic, though. <laughs> uh oh. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I told you it did get her. Is it going to kill her? <sighs> mm, that's kind of gross. I thought it was Gene Simmons up in here. The guy from Kiss. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was the guy that did the... I could be wrong. It might not even be Gene Simmons. <laughs> He's the 80s uh, um, aerobic instructor. The one with Drake is Riot. Who's Riot? Riot is what you would call a team leader. He has an arsenal of weapons. He is unstoppable. Oh, great. We have got to go. Well, I'm coming with you. No, it's going to get ugly. Well, she can fight ugly, trust me. Yeah, I can fight ugly. Not today. So she's a match too, apparently. Right. I'll be piloting the spacecraft. You? Yes. Me. How long? <laughs> but even fully automated, you can't pilot that craft all alone. Not alone. He is realistic because you wonder how those guys can fly. It is not safe for her. If we do not stop Riot, he will come back here with millions more of my kind. And you were going to come back here with an invasion force. Then what were you going to do? You were going to go feed on a whole planet? Yes. But it is different now, Eddie. I have decided to stay. Wow. On my planet, I am kind of a loser, like you. But here, we could be more. No way. <laughs> I'm getting to like it here. And that man's lying. Hey, cut the bullshit. What really made you change your mind? You did, Eddie. Scrub diagnostics. Sir? Did you hear me? Initiate the launch. He just feels like he has to get frustrated with all of his employees. I know. <laughs> None of them just listen he very well. He has no patience for them. <laughs> That's crazy that that's the team leader. Right. <laughs> oh. you, you can take this guy, right? He has got shit you have never seen. What does that mean? What are our chances? <laughs> Pretty much zero. <laughs> uh, well, let's go save the planet. <laughs> Pretty much zero. <laughs> hey, did this come out before Deadpool or after? I don't know. Because this one's like a little edgy, you know what I'm saying? I thought Deadpool was the first edgy one. No, we won't let you destroy this world. Uh-oh. <laughs> he does have a lot of tools. Holy shit! Don't you? 
So Venom's an underdog, and he's trying to take on the captain. I'm sitting here rooting for Venom all of a sudden. <laughs> Me too. Let's go, Big B. <laughs> He's got a good backhand, too. <laughs> yeah. We need to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> she has to watch that. <laughs> Ooh. Dang, you ripped him out. Without vibrations. <gasps> now he's sad because that was his buddy. That was sick. Man, he went and sacrificed himself to the thing. That's what's up. Well, there are we now. Knock him out, Eddie. Here's your chance. Hopefully, there's like a vibration button somewhere. Or when that thing takes off. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's her. I told you I could fight out Gleam. And he's gonna fall out. He's gonna fall out. Ooh. They both did. Punch him for real. Nice. <laughs> he did the crawling punch. <laughs> uh uh. He's not whooping you. He's journal entries. Right. <laughs> he, did the, he did the Superman punch. He's like, I'll be back. I'm coming back for you, buddy. Too late. This is the next stage. Of you talk too much. Did that work? You know it did. What if his host jumps down there, though? No. That ain't good. That ain't good. Oh, no. Nothing. Mm. Venom, go Come heal on, where you at? Where you at? Aww. He just had your back. It's walking up all slow. I know. Come on. We don't have time. It's going to suck that thing up or something. EFF. Let's go. Light work. <laughs> oh, he jumped through the fire. He's scared of fire. Man, it's motivated. <laughs> they look like they're always smiling. smiling. Yeah. Have a nice life. Oh, that's what he said. He blew up the damn rocket. This jump's crazy. Good job. <gasps> Oh no! Oh, he's hurting. He's hurting. No, 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 no. We need you. No! He sacrificed himself. Oh man, really? My man just broke his damn neck on hitting that water like that, though. That's so sad. I actually like Venom. I want to cry for some reason. Yeah, I like that pile of sludge. <laughs> he was cool. Nah. He said goodbye, Eddie. I saved the planet. Don't worry about it. Like, imagine trying to explain to your next girlfriend, like, just that situation. It's not. He's going to keep the same girlfriend. She's seen too much. She's going to wait. So you're saying Venom was deep inside you? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how are you feeling after all that? I feel great. I feel awesome. Well, I'd be scared to sit there. I decided to work pro bono. I'm joining the public defender's office. You're a good person, Annie. What about you? What are you going to do? Uh, the network asked me to bring the show back. Oh, wow. Really? So what did you say? Hell no. I'm not, I'm not into it. I want to concentrate on the written word. I scored the interview of a lifetime. Oh, yeah? Who? You're going to have to read it. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about Venom. Did you want to talk about that kiss? Oh, that? <laughs> you call that a kiss? No, that was your buddy's idea. Oh, right. Well, that is good to know. It did feel kind of great, though. The power? Yeah. When it's, you know. Inside you? You know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Look at her. She has no idea we are going to get her back. <laughs> Where'd he come from? Eddie, is there something you want to tell me? Nope. You belong with us, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, are you sure? Hey, it's nice seeing you. Yeah. You take, take care, all right? That's oh, cool. Okay, yourself. He's concealing him. How did he live, though? Hey, don't give up on her. <gasps> Stan. Neither of you. We won't. Who is that guy? Okay. Wait, this thing looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no problem you sticking around but if we do we're gonna have to have some ground rules. you cannot just go around eating anybody that you want to i cannot no you cannot <laughs> argue to her there are good people in this world and then there are bad people you will only ever 
be allowed to possibly, very possibly, eat very, very bad people, but never, ever, ever <laughs> good people. All right? Fine. He looks like a freak walking around on him. <laughs> talking to himself. Talking about eating people. But can we get something to eat now? Otherwise, your liver, it's starting to look really, really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know a place down here. Hey, Mrs. C. How you doing, Eddie? Ain't nothing changed but the weather, you know. <laughs> always something, always something smart like so, that. Potato tots and chocolate. Right, okay. Well, <laughs> the payment's due, Chan. I forgot about that dude, man. That guy, right? Yep. He's hungry. You come in here again, we will find you and eat both your arms and then both of your legs, and then we will eat your face right off your head. Do you understand? So you will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? There's the torso. The street. What the hell are you? We are there on second thought. Please. Oh man. Scared the hell out of that lady. Eddie? What was that? Oh, I have a parasite. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be mad. <laughs> Parasite? <laughs> Apologize. No. Apologize. That was great. All right, fine. I'm sorry. So, what do you want to do now? We can do whatever we want. That was good, man. Oh, my gosh. That was fun. I know. Is there any end screens? San Quentin. I need you to stay quiet. This is a me thing. It is not a we thing. You got that? Fine, but make it quick. Second, he asked for you to interview him. I'd have shut that shit down. Oh, that's Bellic from Prison Break, baby. Is it? Yeah, he's playing a cop. Oh. Oh. The FBI will have to identify you. You don't follow the rules. You got it, Schofield. That's a good cameo. Oh. Welcome, God. Eddie. Oh. Can't read, sorry. Woody Harrelson. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Do you mind if we forego the whole creepy serial killer thing here? Sure, it's good with me. I mean, I can turn <laughs> it on if you want. It's tough to see you in this light, Eddie. Come on over. All right. It's been about to get hungry. When I get out of here, and I will, there's going to be carnage. That's the name of the second movie. I was just about to ask you, is there a second one? And yeah. Woody Harrelson's in it? I don't know if he is, but I know it's called Venom Carnage. They can't advertise Woody Harrelson's going to be in it and then just not put him in it. Right. All right, guys. So that was Venom. I personally love that movie. I thought that was so good. I thought it was like witty. I thought it was funny. I thought the character was just enough. Right. I thought his character was... He was edgy and funny and like... Bro, how do you describe it? He was just, he was just enough. He wasn't right. enough to annoy you. Uh, Eddie Brock, the character, love it. Right. Love the concept. So never really, never really gave too much thought into the idea that a living organism could eventually bond with humankind in order to exist elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I don't it's really an interesting know. Concept. I think that concept is just so foreign and alien that I don't think I've ever even really considered that concept. Right. I've had those you thoughts. Been, you just been doing your own stuff. You ain't really thought about it. Man, I've just been, I've just been so caught <laughs> up in my own world, man. So I don't even think about that, you know? <laughs> but anyways, uh, I've thought about the idea of like humans bonding with like machines, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see the early phases of that, obviously. Um, here's throughout, some throughout Marvel. Well, throughout reality. So and Marvel. <laughs> this right here is on me constantly. You know, I'm sure that yours is too. So it's just really the very first stage of humans becoming symbiotic with machines basically um and I, you, i've definitely considered the concept so this one was really cool though i love the idea that they came from a meteor and there was millions of them so mm -hmm. there's so much room in the future you could have venom forever because i mean that's just a comment how do they get on a comment i don't really know <laughs> do they live on comets i guess no, so well that the guy drake he was doing a lot of space exploration and I guess they found them. So they were yeah, like, Yeah, found capturing. them on a comet, though. Yeah. You said on the comet, there was millions. So I don't know why they live on a comet, but I guess they didn't have their own planet. It was a comet. Or maybe they were trying to like find like somewhere to go. Maybe. To like get them all. Maybe they were frozen on that comet. Maybe, I don't know, dude. Maybe there know. was going to be a lot of venoms on. They were trying to like infiltrate a planet and make a lot of venoms. I don't Central. know. Maybe what are your thoughts on the movie? <clears throat> well, I personally really like this movie. 
I really liked it because I kind of like how different people portray things differently. So in the Tobey Maguire universe, we saw it as more of like him kind of taking on like a, what would you call it? Like an emo person, yeah, basically, persona. Yeah, yeah. And then this one instead, he was also edgy, but he was edgy because the thoughts in his head. It wasn't because like, instead of portraying it like him, like coming off as like a rocker looking guy, they just mm. showed his thoughts in his head. Yeah. Absolutely. So I thought that was really interesting because Venom's actually like a carnivore. So like... <laughs> Yeah. He's wild, so. Um, love the Stan Lee cameo. Just off the top no, of my he's head. a cannibal, not a carnivore. Sorry. Yeah, love the Stan Lee cameo. That was really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really nice to go back and revisit these to yeah. see those. It's really nice. So eventually on this channel, man, we're gonna see every Stan Lee cameo that there is. And I'm really excited about that. So how do you think it's gonna cross though? Because Venom, we had to watch Venom to finish to before we watched Spider Man No Way Home. So do you think? Do you think he? Um, I didn't see it's any about, parallels. Is, it, is he about to go fight Tom Holland? You think? Maybe. You know, I don't know, man. I didn't see any parallels, but maybe in the future, in the future, they're gonna pull from Venom. But I yeah. don't, you know, I don't, I don't really think Marvel sets itself up for the future the best. Like there wasn't anything in this that I feel like I necessarily need to look out for in the future. No, per no, no. Se. no, no, no. There is something because they made a second movie on that end screen. So the second movie, of course. Well, it was another bad guy, yeah. Right. So but I, they could go anywhere with that. Right. That's what I'm saying. They don't really tell you what the next movie is going to be about within the movie. They sort of just, they give themselves a wide range to interpret mm -hmm. their end screen so they can make it about anything they want. Well, and also I get they, they probably do that. do that because maybe they don't know how good said movie will do. Yeah, yeah. it's And yeah, 100%. There's probably a lot of reasons that go into that. Um, you know, to be honest, babe, I don't really have too many thoughts on the movie. I just thought it was really fun. I thought it was witty. I thought... It was just a really well-paced movie. And, you know, guys, I, we don't really like to say it in our intros anymore, but we did see, because we were looking up, it was this movie, and then we got to do WandaVision, and we were looking at the other movies that we were putting on our Patreon poll, right? And one of them had an extremely high Rotten Tomato score, somebody said, and this movie right here had did a not. really low Rotten Yeah, it had about score, a 30%. So. And <clears throat> Sorry I go around... Just for the Patreon people. Sorry, I, I talk around the bush a lot, dude. I'm just trying to make these things. I'm just trying not to rush out of here. Yeah, I, and I, I like to take my time. And there's things to be said. Like, I'm trying some, to basically think of other things so I don't forget. So right. I, I, I slow talk. There's just something else from this movie I wanted to talk about, which was like something I, which I agree with what you're saying, though. The yeah, Rotten yeah. Tomato score was definitely didn't do it justice. Oh, yeah, no, opinion. 100%. My personal opinion. <laughs> Sorry. But in this movie, you know how when you're watching superhero movies, there's a lot of questions you can ask, like, like I always do, like when I see someone who like, you know, is not capable of flying the dang plane and yeah, they're flying yeah, yeah. it. This one makes sense. Like it gives, it gives a lot. Of, and he, he's about to fight him like as himself and he gets knocked yeah. out. Yeah. Cause there are a lot of times where <laughs> yeah. like, oh, that doesn't make sense, but let's just pretend it does. Or every like guy who's distracted. a good guy just knows how to fight really, really good. But this, right. this was a good portrayal of that Venom actually is everything. Well, to flip the coin, the one thing that was consistent though, is every single human that doesn't have a superpower in every single one of these movies, they all have the same mentality that when there's a bad guy to be fought, even though they're about to get their heads cut off in eight and they know they stand no chance, they just run up like brainless soldiers and just start shooting. <laughs> right. And they're like, ah, and you would almost think they didn't have any like lives or families or thoughts or emotions or any of that. But right. other than that, I just thought the movie was really good. It was it was so simple and to the point, and it was more of just a good origin. It was theater, really. Yeah, it was. It good. was a great origin, really like because like, clearly that guy Eddie Brock is gonna come back for another yeah movie. So it was a cool origin story. I'm glad to see Venom in the. Right. I guess soon to be Marvel Universe. I saw a lot of X's in this movie, man. I saw like a lot of symbolism for that. I think it and, was, I think that was callback to the X-Men. I really do. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think so, 100%. To be honest, man, like a movie's really good when you know that like it wrapped up all of his, his, his bows, man. It, it crossed his T's and dotted his I's. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. That was Venom. I've never seen the movie. I'm really glad that I finally got to watch it. And to be honest, I think this is one of the most underrated movies we've seen. Like for me personally, right. speaking for myself, but since we've been on this journey, man. No one, no one, none of you guys have hyped this wait, up. We've watched none, some bangers. Nobody's hyped it well, up. Yeah, yeah, that's just the truth. Like no yeah. one's hyped it up, but this one was really good to me. But yeah, like we've watched some bangers, right? Don't get me wrong, but those aren't underrated. This one was just a good old fashioned underrated right here. Mm -hmm. So I like the movie a lot. Yep. That was fun. Can't wait for more of this. Yeah, we'll watch the second one hundred um, percent. Guys, thank you so much for rocking with us like always for sure. Uh, hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see more content like this. We've been on YouTube for a while now, so we kind of have like a back catalog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like a hundred something now. Yeah, yeah. So we're building that. To be honest, man, it, just, it, it wouldn't be possible without so many awesome people out there. So we'll see you guys on the next one.